I uh, like to describe this to you. This is all about text marketing in general, not specific about anything. Uh, so if you want to find out about texting, um, <laughs> Joanne says my PowerPoint backgrounds keep getting better and better. Well, you know, I always, um, you know, smart enough to know that I don't know everything and I can always learn, right? So uh, that's why I'm trying to get better and better at it. So I appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Joanne. I like that. I like that. Thanks for the feedback. All right, so uh, let's go here. Now we got the fancy beginning coming on here, right? All right, guys. Um, now, mobile marketing is very hot, as I just mentioned these days. And a study done in 2009 by the CTIA.org showed that 91% of Americans use cell phones. And if you take out the kids, I'm sure it's higher than that. A total of 285 million mobile subscribers in the United States alone. That's a huge market that's virtually untapped by most marketers. Some marketers ignore the massive market because they feel there's no reason to use mobile marketing. Others feel that it's too technical, too difficult, or maybe too expensive. In truth, mobile marketing is extremely effective, and it's a lot easier than you probably think. <clears throat> the truth is that mobile marketing may one day eclipse email marketing. More people have mobile phones than Internet access, and many people check their text messages and voicemail much more often than they check their email. Someday people are going to be saying the money's in the phone book instead of the money's in the list. Until then, mobile marketing is an extremely viable marketing method that you can use. You can start using it right away, and you can get it while most marketers are ignoring this marketing method entirely and kind of get in front of the wave. So what's mobile marketing? Now, if you aren't familiar with this, mobile marketing is any type of marketing that uses mobile telephones. Most people think of mobile marketing as involving SMS text messages, but it may also involve voice messages as well. It can also involve using apps, mobile websites, and even advertisements on mobile television stations. Mobile um, marketing to mobile devices requires a different strategy than marketing through email or other methods. SMS messaging are typically limited to a relatively small number of characters, just like kind of Twitter. So you have to be a little more careful about your marketing and be more precise in what you're saying. You have to be more judicious about